Hey everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and in this video I want to talk about a classic synthesis question that I have seen in tens if not hundreds of tests. Here we want to synthesize an allyl alcohol, this species, from a acetylene molecule, which is on the left. And as with any synthesis question, the first thing that I want to do is I want to see how my starting material maps onto my final product. In my starting material I have one two carbons. And in my final product I have one, two, three carbons. So in the course of this synthesis we would have to create a new bond and probably the best place for that new bond is going to be between carbons two and three, because we know that acetylene can be deprotonated and can be converted into a good nucleophile, so that can potentially create a new carbon-carbon bond. Now, another thing that I am seeing in my product is that I do not have a triple bond anymore, but I do have a double bond, so I have an alkene. And thinking about this molecule retrosynthetically, I know that we can easily make an alkene from the corresponding alkyne. And if I'm using alkyne to make a new carbon-carbon bond, that kind of start fitting all together into one scheme in my head. So as I've mentioned, I'm going to make my double bond from the triple bond, so as a predecessor to my final product, to my target molecule, I have this proper gel alcohol with a triple bond. In order to accomplish that step, we are going to be using the partial reduction from the alkyne to alkene, and the best one for these purposes is going to be the hydrogenation with the Lindler's catalyst. The the partial reduction with sodium and liquid ammonia in this case will not work because of multiple reasons, and one of the biggest reasons here is actually going to be a very unexpected reaction that you are going to see, and I'm going to make a video about that at some other point, but for right now just believe me that sodium and liquid ammonia will not be able to accomplish this uh, transformation and will not give us our target molecule. Now, coming back to my propergyl alcohol, I still remember that I need to be making this car carbon-carbon bond over here. And if I'm using acetylenide anion as my nucleophile, which going to look like that, I need an appropriate electrophile. And the best electrophile in this particular case is going to be formaldehyde, which looks like this. In this case, my acetylenide or alkynide anion, which is extremely nucleophilic, is going to react with electrophilic carbon of my aldehyde, and that's going to give us the corresponding alcohol after the acidic workup, of course. And finally, the last part of this puzzle here is to form the acetylenide ion that we use as a nucleophile, and that part can be easily accomplished by deprotonating our acetylene by using a strong base. So now, when we know all the important intermediates and major steps on this synthesis, let's put it all together. We are going to start with acetylene, and we are going to treat it with a strong base. Sodium amide is the most common choice in this case. The strong base is going to deprotonate our acetylene like this, giving us our nucleophile, which we're now going to react with formaldehyde, where the electrons from the carbon go to carbon, and that gives us the formation of the new carbon-carbon bond, looking like this. Next, we are going to do the acidic workup to protonate our alkoxide, and give us the neutral alcohol, which is going to look like this, and finally to get our target molecule, we are going to use the hydrogen on the Lindlor's catalyst, which is going to take our triple bond and convert that into the corresponding double bond, giving us our target molecule. What did you guys think about this quick synthesis? If you liked it, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button and sharing this video with your friends and classmates, so more students can see it and get better prepared for the next test. As always, thank you for watching till the very end, subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates, watch this video next, and I will see you tomorrow!